Okay, so we heard from Tom Brady with Michelle Tafoya's post-game interview on the field. Bill Belichick has been at the podium in the last couple of minutes. Let's listen into his comments after this two-point Patriots loss tonight. All right, well, so obviously a little disappointed to come up short here tonight. Um, thought that, you know, we had our chances and just could have done a couple things a little bit better. Um, would have, I don't know, it'll change the outcome, but we just, uh, you know, just just fell a little bit short. So I uh, thought our team really prepared well this week. And that's what we got to do every week and, and coach a little bit better and, and uh, make a few more plays and, and start winning these close games. First question, Nick O'Malley. Hey, Bill. Uh, you coached uh, Tom Brady in practice for 20 years, but this is the first time you went ahead uh, against him in a game. What was the experience like going? Uh, we, we, look, we went against Tom Brady every day, every day in practice defensively. So it's not like we've never seen Tom Brady before. Was the experience of coaching against him in a game any different? Yeah, they're a good football team. He's a great quarterback. I mean, I think that's all it goes without saying. And if you have questions, we'll pass the mic to you. Joe Kayada. Bill, just your thoughts on Mac Jones today, show, showing a lot of poise uh, as a rookie back there. What are your thoughts on his performance today? Well, we'll go look at the film. You know, I thought, again, I thought our team played competitively, and you know, Mac's certainly part of that. Um, you know, we can all, we can all play better and all learn from, you know, some of the things we could have done better. But, you know, Mac fought hard and made a lot of plays for us. Yofi Chen. Hey, Coach, uh, how do you plan to address your fumble, the fumble with these shoes? Looks like you have a lot uh, this season, and today was a critical situation, too. Yeah, nothing more important than ball security. Steve Sanchez? Uh, Bill, defensively, you held them to, you know, three field, uh, three field goals and a touchdown, or four field goals. Yeah, four field goals and a touchdown. So it was a good performance. Yeah, well, not, not enough. Brendan McGurk. Bill, anything stand out about the running game tonight from you guys? Was it just, you know, Tampa Bay executing it? Yeah, we couldn't do a good. Uh, we couldn't get much going there. Uh, they're they're obviously a good run defense, but we couldn't. You know, we we couldn't get much done there, and uh, yeah, that was disappointing. You know, we have. We have good backs, so we haven't been able to really get them started very often. So it's definitely something we need to work on and do better. Um, Bill, specifically about Mac, just um, being able to lead comebacks within the game, is that a learned skill? Is that something he could take coming out of this game? And I did also want to ask you if you wouldn't mind explaining what you were told about the Matt Slater play and if you've ever seen Matt that upset with a call. Yeah, it's a tough call. You have to talk to the guys that made it. Um, there's a couple tough calls there, but you know, we talk to them about that. Yeah, I mean, look, Matt's Max a good, good player, and you know he knows how to compete, knows how to win. You know, he can learn things tonight like we all can. Um, so we will. Andrew Callahan to the left. Uh, Bill, what about matching J.C., Jalen, and Jonathan Jones? Kind of each shadowing a Bucks receiver for most of tonight. What made you feel that was the best decision, and how do you think that played out through the course of the game? Why do we think it was the best decision? We thought it was the best decision. I don't know. How do you want to do it? Sir. Any questions, guys? Hey, Bill, I, yeah, I, may, I may have missed it. I just got, got in here earlier, but um, what did you see? You've seen Tom Brady play so many games over so long. This game with all the emotions and obviously the chess match against you, what, what, what did you see from Tom tonight that, that may have kept it as competitive as it was? Yeah, I think we already covered that. That was one of the first questions, yep. Was there any consideration of going for it on the left fourth down when you kicked the field goal at the end? I mean, not really. Okay. 
Bill, um, what were some of the things you guys did to maybe try to keep the Bucks guessing offensively in terms of the, the number of rushers that you decided to bring at different points? What, what did we try? I don't understand the question. How did you try to confuse the Bucks with your... Yeah, we used multiple, multiple rushes and multiple coverages. Been doing that all year. I don't think it was anything. I don't think it was you know, a big surprise to them. But you'd have to ask them, I don't know. Oh, okay, thank you. Kobe Myers was outside. I know I'm supposed to talk. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it just there's classic. this two that is classic. classic thank you that's exactly what it is it's it's classic it, it is classic the the people asking the questions the, it, it's like they've been hit by a blitz before it's chuck and duck it's, it's exactly <laughs> what it is from the reporters uh, in any case let's move to mac jones and in, in, a, in a few more words than coach belichick drew can you describe how mac jones played here tonight as he uh threw it 40 times completing 31 passes well, first off, in in those conditions, it, it, it was unbelievable. And and going up against that defense, and the fact that he had zero run game the, the entire game, they just put it on his shoulders. Watch his eyes down the field, feels the free rusher, just a quick slide, and still in a great position to put his foot down and deliver that ball accurately. Here, watch how he works his way through the progression, all these crossing routes, finds the open receiver to get him into the end zone. And here again, Feeling the free rusher. He knows where they're coming from. He's able to escape just enough to buy some time to get a positive play as opposing to getting a, a, a sack, negative play. I, I can't tell you how impressed I am with his poise, with his composure, with his command in this offense. Tony, as we look at the numbers comparing the two, he, he throws the two touchdowns. Brady, no touchdowns, no picks in his return to Foxborough. Your thoughts on Mac Jones? I, I thought he was outstanding tonight. It was obvious Todd Bowles, the Bucks defensive coordinator, once Carlton Davis got hurt, he felt like his only shot was to blitz. And he brought every kind of pressure you could imagine. And we saw those free rushers coming. Usually the quarterback's going to just get rid of it, throw it hot. Mac Jones, just take my time. I know where everybody is. I, I thought he played with just outstanding poise for a young guy under these conditions. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.